been the program coordinator for the fire inspection and fire safety education program since uh, 2017. And prior to that, I spent over 25 years in the fire and life safety uh, industry, both public and private sector. I started way back in the late 80s as a security guard and a private investigator, but moved into emergency medical communications, working as a dispatcher, which allowed me to transfer from ambulance over to fire and then spent several years within the communications division of a, a small uh, urban fire service. The fire prevention officers have three mandates under legislation. They, they, they do inspections, they do public education, and they do fire investigation. And they are more akin to being the police officers within the fire service to make sure that buildings comply, that, that they are continued to be maintained safe and with the requirements that, that Ontario requires for the buildings. Uh, they go out and educate the public. How does a smoke alarm work? Why do we need a fire safety plan? They go out to schools and seniors' homes to help them with their specific life safety needs. And then investigating fires, which is going out and seeing what happened. Because if you can figure out why the fires are starting or how they're starting in your community, you can then develop the plans to make sure that you educate people to prevent them and ensure that the safety systems that buildings come with are there to prevent those from happening and, and reduce the loss of property and life. 